The power of a quotient rule is a way to simplify expressions that contain exponents. You use the power of a quotient rule when you have two bases that are being divided inside parentheses and also being raised to an exponent that is outside of the parentheses. Make sure you distribute this exponent and multiply. In this video, we're going to show you how to solve examples that are both easy and hard and provide you with notes and helpful tips to review from. Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about the power of a quotient rule for exponents. The power of a quotient rule is a way to simplify expressions that contain exponents. You use the power of a quotient rule when two bases are being divided by each other inside parentheses while also being raised to an exponent that is outside of the parentheses. So just a real quick example, it would look something potentially like this. So you have two bases inside of the parentheses and then an exponent that is outside of the parentheses. When using the power of a quotient rule, you raise <clears throat> When using the power of a quotient rule, you distribute the exponent that is on the outside of the parentheses to all of the bases on the inside of the parentheses. Once the exponent has been distributed, you multiply the powers. The power of a quotient rule is written as x over y raised to the a power is equal to x to the a divided by y to the a. Let's move on to our guided practice problems and do some problems together. So here we are at our first problem. We are given 3 to the 4th divided by 5 to the 5th inside of a set of parentheses and then the power of 2 or the exponent of 2 on the outside of the parentheses. What you have to do with this 2 is that you must distribute it to both the 3 to the 4th power and 5 to the 5th power. So when you do this, you could technically rewrite it as 3 to the 4th raised to the 2nd over 5 to the 5th raised to the 2nd. And you should recall from a previous video that when you have parentheses in between two exponents, that means you're going to multiply the exponents. So back to our problem, if you're going to do the top part of our problem, which is 3 to the 4 to the second power, you multiply 4 times 2. And that will give you 3 to the 8th. Then on bottom we have 5 to the 5th with the parentheses and then the second power, so you have to do 5 to the 5 times 2, which is 5 to the 10th. And that's going to be our answer because we cannot simplify the bases any further. Moving on to number 2, we're given 2 to the 6th over 4 to the 9th raised to the 4th power. So very similar to the first problem is we take this exponent here and you have to distribute it to both terms on the inside of the parentheses. So we could rewrite it 2 to the 6th raised to the 4th divided by 4 to the 9th, also raised to the 4th. And remember, this means to multiply. When you have parentheses like this, or power raised to a power, you multiply. So 2 to the 6th times 4 would be 2 to the 24th over 4 to the 9th times 4, which is 9 times 4 is 36. So this is going to be our solution. Number 3 gives us variables, but it does not change how we solve the problem. So we have x to the 4th over y to the 5th squared. We're going to take this power of 2, distribute it to the first term and to the second term. And we can rewrite this as x to the 4th raised to the second power all over y to the 5th also raised to the second power. Now when you simplify this, you're going to multiply the exponents together. 
So at the top, you're going to have x to the 4 times 2, which is 8. And then on the bottom, you're going to have y to the 5th times 2, which is 10. And this will be our solution. So we're going to move back up to number 4. We have 9 to the 5th over 6 to the 5th raised to the 8 power. We're going to take this 8. We're going to distribute it to both terms. We will have 9 to the 5th raised to the 8th power on top over 6 to the 5th also being raised to the 8th power. When you do this, you multiply the exponents. So we will end up with 9 to the 5 times 8, which is 40, all over 6 to the 5 times 8, which is also 40. And that's our solution. Number 5 gives us variables again. We have an x and a y. So we have x to the 9th divided by y to the 8th, and then the whole term raised to the 5th power. So the same rule applies. We distribute. You could write x to the 9th raised to the 5th power all over y to the 8th also raised to the 5th power. When you simplify this, you will multiply the exponents together, of course. x to the 9 times 5 is 45. And then y to the 8th times 5 is 40. And this is going to be our answer. Our last problem in our problems <clears throat> our last problem in our practice problems gives us four separate terms. So on top here we have x to the fourth, y to the ninth, divided by four squared, six to the fifth. This whole term is being raised to the second power. So we will take this two, just like we did in the other problems. And we will distribute it to every single term on the inside of the parentheses. So this 2 will go to the x, the y, the 4, and the 6. So we can rewrite this so we don't get confused. We're going to have x to the 4 squared. Then we're going to have y to the 9th squared all over 4 squared squared and then 6 to the fifth squared. So to simplify this, we will multiply all of our exponents together for each term. So we will end up with x to the four times two, which is eight. So that'd be x to the eight. y to the nine times two, which is 18, all over four squared squared, 4 to the 2 times 2, which is 4 to the 4th, and then 6 to the 5th times 2, which is 6 to the 10th. So this entire answer is our solution. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.